Hey guys, what's up? I want to show you my 2000 Virago 250 that I picked up. It's actually a sweet little bike. Uh, it is a 250cc, uh, so it's really light. These 250 Viragos weigh about, eh, about 320 pounds, something like that. So they're really easy to handle and uh, really a fun little bike. So I started doing some mods to it. Um, one of the first things that had to go were those stock Virago handlebars that were really kind of not my style, you know, really kind of like, I don't know, overly cruiser, trying to turn this into a little uh, cafe uh, racer bobber kind of thing. I ended up going with these uh, Renthal uh, sport bike low rise handlebars which are pretty cool. Uh, you can pick those up at like motorcycle superstore, literally like 20 bucks, it's awesome. Also these little uh, end mirrors uh, are pretty sick. Uh, these little end mirrors, get those on amazon.com, just search for those. Uh, they seem to work real well. Some people say that they vibrate, but you know what? I haven't had any issues with vibration at all. Uh, typically it's the Harley riders that complain about the uh, they complain about the mirrors, uh, but the thing is, this bike is so freaking smooth, there's no vibration. It's, uh, it's so really some cool. other mods I did to the bike. I removed the back seat, looks much better without the rear seat. It's, it's really, it takes off some weight. It's a good little mod. If you're not planning on taking any passengers, just take that thing right off. You don't need it. Really looks better without it. Another mod I did was I took a hole saw and I drilled out the baffles on the mufflers, which gave it a really nice sound. So I'll fire this thing up for you guys in a minute here, let you hear how it sounds without the baffles. It actually sounds like a much bigger bike. If you could, uh, anybody starting out looking for a cruiser bike or just any bike for that matter, I would highly recommend going with one of these uh, these 250cc bikes that just handle like like crazy. One of the things I wanted to tell you guys about these bikes, the speedometer backlight typically goes out pretty quick on these suckers. Uh, most of the time I heard a year or less in some cases. I was looking for a bulb, nowhere to be found in the actual manual for the Yamaha. So I basically just took the, the Speedo apart and it's really simple. I can tell you how to do that. There's two, it's kind of hard to see, but there's two Allen screws. One is, it's really hard to see. One is like right there. That's one and there's one on the other side. And then you just loosen this headlight bolt to kind of swing the whole thing out of the way a little bit. Remove those two Allen screws. Then the bezel, there's one Phillips head screw on the back of the bezel. Then this whole bezel will separate. You pull out one little plug and it's a tiny little bulb. I actually replaced it with a common Sylvania 1.3 watt bulb that I found at Advanced Auto Parts. It's literally like five bucks for two bulbs. It was really, uh, really convenient that they had that. It was a 14 volt, 1.3 watt, but it worked just fine. So that is a real cheap, quick and dirty fix if your speedo light goes out. So let me fire it up for you guys and uh, let you hear what this thing sounds like with the uh, uh, baffles removed. It's a lot better than it did with them on. Actually has that, that bigger bike sound to it. It's a little cold, gotta let it warm up. So 
by no means does this thing sound like a uh, like a 250. It actually sounds like a much much bigger bike. It's got a nice mean little rumble to it now. Let you guys hear it a little bit. been a good little bike I plan on doing some more mods to it and uh, put on a GoPro take it for a ride do some cruising show you guys what it's like just riding this uh, little puppy around town it's a blast gearing's good on it it's pretty quick 0 to 60 keeps up with much uh, much bigger heavier bikes because of this bike's low weight really having a lot of fun with it All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to click subscribe, hit like if you like this video. I'm gonna be uh, putting up more videos every week as I do more mods on the bike. And thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, click like and hit that subscribe button. Thanks, I'll see you guys.